Uh, hello. Welcome to Julie and Marie. I finally got the mango lassi that I've been driving back and forth just to Whole Foods to get. They rarely restock this flavor or somebody buys it out or I don't know, some kind of jackass just beats me to them every time. So I've been going to Whole Foods like periodically to be like, do you have it? And then finally I got it and I bought like seven or six of these and they're like not cheap. So just enjoy the the fresh sort of taste of it. It doesn't taste like a yogurt, it tastes like a viscous mango drink. So I was going to do a makeup tutorial on this look, which I think is sort of nice and soft lines and it's vaguely Korean-esque because everything is soft and sweet and makes you look am amicable, amiable, just approachable. Just like a good approachable person, like, like it softens your resting bitch face, right? But then for some reason the files got corrupted because I didn't clear out the SD card, amateur mistake, my bad. I paid $40 for some independent software to try to recover it, but that software sucks, so I don't recommend this software for recovering lost files at all. And that was $40 that I won't get back, but that's fine, because the $40 were from PayPal, and PayPal is basically just money I get from selling clothes I don't wear anymore, so it's just throw away money either way. And at least supporting the software developers helps them put food on the table and feel good about themselves for scamming people out of their money. <laughs> I had a really good shoot with Lewis. His Instagram is eyes of seal, seal, like Lewis spelled backwards. He's a really, really funny, chill... He, he takes good photos. He takes good photos, basically. He, like, they're very crisp and just... Um, there's good... Framing. He takes good photos, basically. Oh my god! So, I've been, like, super, super ridiculously horny. I'm just thinking of, like like deep, raw penetrations all the time. Just like really want my G-spot stimulated. But the thing is though, my boyfriend is like just exercising every day because he's trying to lose, shave off pounds because we're going to Japan, Tokyo. And we basically take the subway when we're, when we're in Tokyo or traveling anywhere for that matter. So we have to do a lot of walking and his he has weak shins and weak knees. So he's trying to get in shape for the pedestrian lifestyle. We drive a lot. We basically drive everywhere. We live in Orlando. It's just, it's just driving here. You don't want to be the poor sap that takes the bus in Orlando because it's just unfortunate. It's very hot. You have to wait for the bus for a long time, but sometimes it's just helpless because you lose your license or you're old or you just don't have a car and you have to take the bus, but you don't want to be that person and live in Orlando. You want to be that person and live in a walkable city or something like San Francisco or New York. Excuse me. But yeah, so I've been like super horny and my boyfriend just exercises and he's like, yeah, I'm too tired and I can't. And I'm just like, and he's like, you can be on top. And I'm just like, it's like, if I was a dom kind of person, like I liked being on top, then yeah, sure. But when I'm on top, I'm just like, I like get mild, mildly self-conscious and just uncomfortable with the positioning dynamic. I'm just like, no, I want to be the tiny one, the one that's on bottom and gets dominated, you know? So yeah, that's been pretty... I've been, I've been getting pretty... just the thirst is real. I don't even... I don't even know because I'm just like... I'm always like passive-aggressive. I'm like, we never have sex. 
why don't we have sex? Since I fucked up the actual tutorial part, I'm just gonna talk about products. This is a new highlighter, a limited edition highlighter from Yves Saint Laurent. Super pretty. There's like a sticker on the mirror that I haven't taken off yet because I don't I don't use the portable mirrors like this. I, I use like a like a hardcore mirror mirror, like large mirror. I, I don't know, this is just too tiny for me. But anyway, this is like this is like a very nice light shimmery glow. So it's it's very not magical fairy tale explosion, explosa. It's not like that. It's like a yay. This is just me with just a little bit of natural shimmer like skin oils or healthy glow or some bullshit. It's subtle. It's nice. I like it. And also the case is really cute and it comes with like a velvet a velvet cover. It's good. I think it I, I think it is limited edition. I think all of their shit is limited edition. All of their shit's really expensive and limited edition. So you sort of like collect it, but makeup has a shelf life, so you're not really collecting it, you're just using it before it expires. And they just stop producing it in that color or shade or whatever. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's the Chosunga. I'm not pronouncing that right. Chosunga 22. Um, the lip tint and it, this is the gloss and this is the tint and you don't want to use too much of the tint you'd lightly dab because it's really staining like the color is really rich this is the orange color lace I like it I like it I like the nude nude pink gloss and I like the orange tint the orange is kind of too orange but but if you are just careful about layering it, then the orange sort of becomes more red and more natural seeming. And I just like the natural gradient of it, just the natural flush of color. And for cheeks, okay, I, I was never really like a blush person, but for cheeks, I have on the Becca, fuck, the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle. I only got it because it's pretty. It has this metallic fluffiness to it. It's just pink and watercolory and just like mixed up and cute. I don't fucking know. And something that I got that was a free sample is this thing from Ren Skincare. It's the Flash Defense Anti Pollution Mist. When I wash my skin at night, I do notice like with the pad, like when you when you dip a pad with water and you cleanse, I do notice that more shit comes off more readily. So I think that this helps my pores not eat dirt and have it sort of stay like static on the surface so it's easier to wash off. Samples are my downfall. I buy everything that's a sample. Yesterday at Sephora, this really friendly employee was like, I'm here and I got really freaked out of course because I'm shy and I hate people. She was super nice actually and she was trying to like upsell me but that was fine because I like to be upselled. So she was like, okay, let me give you a 20% employee discount. So they're doing like a like a customer appreciation thing where they just randomly give out 20% discounts and I got two of those. I got Oh, there's a lot of cat hair. I got two 20% off coupons. So I used one last night online and I used one in store. I got this beauty water by Park, by Sun and Park, not Park and Sun, Sun and Park. <sighs> Sun and Park. And it smells really herbal and benign. It smells really good. It's not offensive at all. And it really does a good job at cleansing. I don't know what it is, but I like the like how natural it feels. It just feels really natural and effective and awesome. And now I understand why it's always sold out. But yesterday I snagged one up. Booyah. I got this Blythe mask, splash mask. And what you do is you use it in the shower and you just splash it over your face. It's really astringent. I had it come in contact with my eyes and my, and my lips and it was super sharp and tingly. It wasn't the worst sting in the world, but it still stung like like a fair amount. But I don't know. I don't it's it's for oil control and clarifying pores. It's the soothing and healing green tea one and 
I don't know, I, I need this because my acne and my pores clog up and whiteheads and blemishes and gross. So that's why I got this one and it smells nice, like, okay, I don't know why I tried to sniff it with the cap still on. It smells like medicine. It smells like witch hazel and medicine and stuff like that. Like tea tree oil. It smells kind of like sharp tea tree herbal oil. It's kind of like that. And it's just really sharp and stingy so I know stingy so I know there are acids in it that are exfoliating me in the shower and cleansing my pores. So I'm definitely enjoying that. And something else that I received as a sample and ended up buying the full size of is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. It already had really good reviews on Sephora, but I didn't, you know, I'm always like, I'll get it someday. But then when I got the free sample, just in time, I was like, oh wait, this is some killer shit. When it gets into my, around my mouth, I like lick it inadvertently and it tastes really sweet like real honey because they put real honey in it and it's warming and the warming sensation I'm kind of ambivalent about. I just like that it's kind of moisturizing and it's anti-oxidating, antioxidants, anti-oxidating. It's nice. If I don't sleep a lot, I just feel really tired so this helps wrap in, give me some of that moisture boost that I really need. That's why I picked up the mask, the full size. It's huge, there's so much. I never actually finish masks, masks. K's are hard, the A-S-K sound is hard for me because <laughs> I'm Asian and, and English isn't my first language. It's my dominant language now because I've forgotten Chinese but English isn't my first language. I never really use masks entirely so i don't know how far these two are going to stick in my routine but they're fun for now but oh my god i really like this beauty water really like it so yeah i'll try to upload re-upload redo the makeup tutorial for this it's just i'm just like I feel like, I don't know, lazy, yeah. I also, yeah, wait, fuck, let me go, let me go get Marie and then we can, we can say goodbye. <sighs> Please subscribe for more Julie and Marie.